stock crossed my mind today. I bought it preemptively a while ago. I thought it was negative. But... So I told you guys about my test yesterday. You guys, you guys. So I didn't record this morning. It's Friday. I didn't record this morning because I, I don't know, I'd had so many negative tests and we took one on Wednesday and it was negative and I was just like, I don't really feel like, Aww. and my husband wasn't like gonna get into the shower so he wasn't like fully clothed and I was like, I just, I'm not gonna record. And I thought it was negative, but there's like a little tiny really really faint line that you can't see in pictures or on camera like at all that both of us kind of saw and I don't know if it's an indent line or what but it's still three days early and I just like do I take another one I don't have another one so I'm gonna go buy one do I take a digital one I can't take it today I can't take it tomorrow because I'm gonna be at a bachelorette party <sighs> I just I don't know what to do I don't know what to do struggling but anyway, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't film that. It was very anticlimactic. It was just like, oh, okay. And then I left it on the counter because I was waiting for it to dry a little bit and stuff before I tossed it. And then I looked at it again and I was like, oh, wait a second. Am I crazy or am I actually seeing this? Yeah. But that's all. So I told you guys about my test yesterday. I'm back from my bachelorette. It was super fun. Different video. No one's home. So I decided to take a test because I pick up a bunch more for tomorrow morning. I can see it from the camera on here. I am pregnant. You guys, yay, baby brother, sister is right in here, Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I'm horrible, I was supposed to wait till tomorrow, so I'm not gonna tell Gregory, <laughs> He'll, I'll tell him after. Maybe this one was false, you know, it's there. It's still there. It could be a false positive. They're uncommon, and, but of course I'd be the person to get one, so. Oh. Oh. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm ready. Everyone's gonna. You guys. You guys. Do you see this? I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm gonna convince him to take it tonight instead. I'm gonna convince him to do that. We're gonna take one tonight together. Oh, I'm so excited. It's only been like three minutes. So it's not like an evapor line or anything. I wasn't crazy yesterday when I said I saw it. I wasn't crazy. Mommy instincts. Mm -hmm. Just, it doesn't feel real. It won't, but can't wait to tell Gregory. Can't wait. <sighs> I'm a horrible person. I really did want to find out with him this time, like genuinely. But I just was like, I got an extra test. And if I don't end up needing it because I am pregnant, what am I going to do with it? It's positive. <laughs> I'm going to convince him this afternoon. That we should take one. I just can't. I can't stop looking at it. Yes. Okay. Taking a test together. It's probably not gonna be accurate because it's in the afternoon, but I just wanted to take one. And I bought three. It's almost two packs. Yeah. <laughs>
Explosive <laughs> way dramatically. <laughs> To do what you want. We get to do the announcement <laughs> on your first. I'm so fucking sorry, dude. Yeah! <laughs> you must be potent. <laughs> that was a lot of It's time for the four week update. I'm doing it in the car because otherwise I'm going to run out of days in this week and I don't want to get too far into this week. I just found out I am pregnant on Saturday. It is Tuesday right now, but I intend to make these videos on Sunday when I actually like my week will restart on Sundays. So each new week will be Sundays and the videos will go out Mondays. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so they will be filmed to cover what has happened in the previous week. So this is going to be the lead up, basically four week recap. So to the lead up to four weeks, if that makes sense. Um, so my very first symptom that I had was like probably a week ago now, like Monday or Tuesday last week. I was eating lunch with my son and... My dog was standing watching him eat, and she does, and she drools when she watches him because she wants to eat it because, you know, saliva. And it's always like, oh, gross, whatever, and I can, like, move on, and it doesn't really bother me, and I can, like, get myself out of the headspace of, like, ew, gross things I can't eat anymore. Like, I've never had that happen to me. So I was like, this is weird because I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to eat anymore. And then I started thinking about eating fingers and I was like, mm -mm, I don't know where this came from, but I can't do it. I can't eat any more of the salad. It's not happening. So I threw it away because I was like, I can't, I can't do it. It was so unappetizing. I just couldn't. And yeah, that was like super weird where I was like, that's, that's strange. Um, and then I have frequently have random nausea pangs and like I'm more tired than I was like prior to having kids because I had my son and now I'm much more of a tired individual but I've ha been having a lot harder time sleeping at night in the past week or so um definitely the no eating nausea thing that is real that did not hit me really with Gabriel until like six weeks or so it was kind of around five weeks but right in that time frame and yeah I don't know it just it's good it's good stuff but it's just different I'm really hoping that I don't get hit with the six week you can only be awake for six hours a day for two straight weeks thing that happened to me last time I've had some like pulling it's definitely pulling and not cramping. Um, that was different from last time. I don't remember having that. I do remember having light spotting, like, in the middle of my fifth week somewhere. Um, just, like, one day when we were moving. But other than that, yeah. There hasn't been, like, a whole lot. Just the whole nausea thing. Which kind of, like, randomly hits. But, like, I don't know. It just feels like there's a lot more gas and, like feels bubbly if that makes sense like everything's just gurgling and that makes it feel like tighter not crampy but like the, the the muscle is physically tight so that's different I genuinely don't remember with Gabriel what it was like but yeah that's where we're at I don't have a whole lot. I didn't really expect to have a whole lot. I just wanted to tell you guys what the updates would be like and that, yes, I am doing them. I 
love doing them and I loved doing a like bump shot with each and every one. I will be doing a bump shot at the end of this video as well, but just not right now because obviously I'm driving, so it's going to take me a little bit. I, when I get home from work tonight, I will do a bump shot. It's going to be really interesting because when I was pregnant with Gabriel, I wasn't working. I was like teaching and it ended right before I got pregnant. Like I found out I was pregnant with him. And then with this baby, like I am obviously working and I'm working like a stand up, run around kind of job. Not a like lay in bed and answer questions and emails and make phone calls kind of job. So I'm interested to see how it goes. Um, yeah, I don't know. It should be it should be very interesting because I had wanted to stay more active. I want to be more healthy, and I am changing my diet. Today was my first official like attempt at a different kind of diet day, and it went okay for lunch. I, th I think the only thing I shouldn't have had jelly, which I did because I really wanted it. And I shouldn't have had, I should have had whole wheat bread instead of just plain wheat bread. Like a whole grain kind of bread. But we don't have any whole grain bread because I haven't requested my roommate to buy it because she doesn't know yet. It's going to be a surprise for everyone. Literally, we have told no one. It's just me and Gregory that know. So no one is knowing before anyone else. Even, even though, like, there are some people that, like, like my roommate that I would like to tell beforehand. We're just going to be fair to everyone. No one else is going to know. And I really like doing it that way and I'm very excited. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the four-week update. Bump shot in a minute here. I said I might be cheating on this, but... Lots of bloat. Love, Genevieve.